Hello everyone, this is Mark Rayan. This is my NPC project for my PNP4 programming class. The assignment or project was to design and program a NPC or non-playable character to do an action. So what I did was I programmed my NPC to pick up a sword and follow the player and kill him. So in the game, I'm the blue and the red is the NPC. So let's go ahead and play the game and check it out. So over here I'm in the blue, I'm running away from the guy in the red. And the, the NPC picks up the sword, he's following me. Let me get in his range. His job is to roam or wander in the level between the four green spheres, their location points. The the NPC and will follow me once I'm in his eyesight. There we go. Let's do this. So he's chasing me. Let's go towards the sword. He follows me. He picks up the sword. He's chasing me. So the play, the NPC is behind me, he picks up the sword and he's following me. The NPC will follow me till he kills me or till I lose him. To build and design and program this demo, I had to, I started out in, in Trello. So what I did is I came into Trello, I made a card, um, I wrote up a checklist of the things it would take to make this character pick up a sword and attack kill the enemy so I started out by creating an NPC object program the character to move to a point character to patrol among four points then I tested the patrol I had to set a range for the NPC to detect if the player this is to test if the players within range Overwrite patrol to chase player, chase player, stop chasing player when NPC cannot see player, pick up sword, add a damage volume. These were the breakdowns of the scripts. So let's go into the item now. So I made another card for the item, which is the sword, and it took, and I made a list of things it would take to program the sword. So over here, I started out, I created the sword in Unity, I, I, pro I allowed the sword to be picked up the sword to destroy itself to the sword to appear in in the NPC's hand allow damage to kill player chase the player after pickup does damage over time test sword pickup damage the player over two seconds reload scene when player is killed so after Trillo let's go into our scripts and let's take a look Let's start with the eyesight script in the movement control. The character controller script, I started out, made a variable, public rigid body player, public float, walk speed, void update. Over here I got four else statements. If input dot get key down, key code dot up arrow. What this script is saying that when the player presses down on the up arrow on the keyboard that it would move the player player dot velocity equals new vector three walk speed zero zero this script allows us to move up down left and right alright let's go to the eyesight the eyesight script I had to make a few variables as well Public game object NPC, public game object sword, player move speed, IC player, IC sword, void start player equals game object dot find player, NPC equals game object dot find NPC, sword equals game object dot find sword. This, we're setting the prefabs for the NPC, the sword, and the player. Void update IC the player is equal to true. NPC dot transform dot rotation. We got three else if statements. If sword dot get component sword pickup dot target player is equal to true. This detects if the NPC walks towards the sword or the player. 
private void on trigger enter collider other if other dot tag is equal to player i see the player equals true this script allows the npc to see the player or sword this script over here void private void on trigger exit collider other if other dot tag is equal to player i see the player equals false got another if statement which is telling us this checks for the end does the npc see the player or the sword is what this script is checking for we go to sword pickups is the other script same thing made a few variables public render hs game object sword eyesight to time till death can damage target player equals false okay so over here eyesight two equals game object dot find eyesight hand sword equals game object dot find hand sword hs dot hand sword dot component equals mesh render over here we're setting the prefabs for the for the hand sword the eyesight range void on trigger enter collider other if other dot tag is equal to player can damage equal true if other dot tag is equal to sword enabled equal true this detects if the npc runs into the player or sword private void update if can damage is equal to true time till death is e is minus equal time dot delta time if time delta death is less than or equal to zero this over here does damage over time in our movement script we have a few bool variables over here void start position what we're doing in this script is setting the sphere locations what we do in the first script is set the prefabs of the four spheres over here void update if position number is equal to zero mpc dot transform dot rotation quaternion is dot slurp mpc dot transform dot rotation this over here is setting the position that the mpc walks on four positions set this was my mpc project for my pnp4 programming class i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much mark rayan